Whilst we are west, uh, we will discuss two shows. One that we've been watching for a while and one that I've asked uh, Matt to carry on watching. Which one do you want to do first? Should we get the Carmichael show out of the way? Carmichael show is a NBC sitcom that I stumbled across sort of early, well, mid last year when critics I like were talking about it and I was thinking, I don't even know anything about this. They've done three seasons we're into now. They've done episodes on Bill Cosby, Trump. It's a family sitcom in the vein of something like Everybody Loves Raymond, but it has things to say. Let's issues. Say, uh, issue issue based. based. Basically, the reason I wanted to talk about it is not because it's going to be airing here, because there's no interest in that, it would seem. But If, I wanted... it, if uh, Trouble was still around, this would be on Trouble, I, yeah, I Just I after hanging with Mr. Cooper and the, which, yeah, the, and the Parkers. Parkers. We know we've got some US listeners, and... I wanted people to know in America that this was a thing because it makes me laugh. I find it funny. I, I think it's interesting to have a comedy that has things to say. There were three episodes this series that I that have been on. Episode one was about consent uh, and episode three was about assisted suicide. So you can tell just by those two topics that it is a show that has things to say. It doesn't shy away from... Uh, issues and, and the Donald yeah. Trump one and the Cosby one were even just looking at of... the uh, episode list. Episode six of this season is called Lesbian Wedding, so I think you can guess. About I don't know what, what that's about. I <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, ju- I just wanted to bring it to people's attention, and um, as Matt said, let's get it out of the way. Did you not enjoy it at all? Matt I enjoyed the one. third one more. This to do with the first one that I watched, and I was that's okay. why I was trepidatious to watch I... any more. It's mainly that it's. As you, you keep saying, oh, just watch it. It's only 21 minutes, blah, blah, blah. But um, the fact it is only that long, it it, it almost feels like the issue, it, it's too short before the episode yeah. starts that the issue is... Like that first one, the um, girlfriend of uh, Carmichael. Um, just like, it's, like the, it's like the third line. Oh, I just found out someone I knew was raped. Yeah, yeah I agree. <laughs> I agree. You know, to that, it doesn't feel real. It feels like I'm watching a sitcom. Yeah. And I don't think he's great either, the lead, Jared Carmichael. I don't think he's a great performer. Not I know he's a, a stand-up comedian, but it, yeah. as an actor, I don't really rate him in this. He just feels like it's just him. But he's having to act because, as you say, it's issue-based. Whereas, like, for example... As you said, everybody loves Raymond. I don't think Ray Romano had to do a great deal of acting because it was. No, and actually, if you watch that, that made me think. Actually, if you watch the early Raymonds, he becomes a better actor as the series goes on. In the first three series, he's pretty. He doesn't know what he's doing, quite obviously. But as it goes on, and they give him more to do, he becomes. Because we don't really have that. A uh, thing where stand-up comedians, given the I'm sure there comedies. are. I'm sure there are some. I'm trying to think. There, there has been examples in the past. I don't think they've lasted very long. But I'm sure if if I, we think long enough, I mean, like I know I suppose, Jack D did Lead Balloon, and I suppose back in the day you had like Tony Hancock and Eric Sykes and people like that so doing. That's they that weren't stand-ups, be, though, were they? That originally? would be an example. I suppose I don't know to be honest with you, but they, they, I suppose what I'm saying is the characters were based on, you know, they had, Tony Hancock was Tony Hancock, Eric Sykes was Sykes. Yeah. They had, you know, it was based on their personalities rather than being like a character comedy. And as you say, like Lead Balloon was a bit sort of, of Jack yeah. D's sort of on stage personality and he didn't do a lot of acting in that. I preferred the, the second episode that you got me to watch, the grandma one. Um, grandma. But I don't, I don't feel I really, I don't really feel I laughed. I almost laughed a couple of times, but I don't, I didn't. How do you almost laugh? Is that well, when I feel, you stop I feel yourself? it sort of coming and then, no, it wasn't that fun. It wasn't fun. You, you do that, the, the in, brain makes the initial reaction. Yeah, that was quite funny. And then it, it, you sort of stop yourself because, oh, no, it actually, on retrospect, I'm not going to let you laugh because it, it wasn't. Uh, but, no, I, like, I think because as well, you just had the, you had less characters here in this. It was all it was set three in the house. house. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, it's four of them. Well, one of them was going to die. <laughs> Okay, there's no easy way to say this, so I'm just come out and tell you. I've been diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Wait, that's your news? Well, I'm sorry to have to break it to you this way. Uh, Mom, we've known about this for six months. (laughs) Wait, 
You mean I told you this already? Yes. For real? This news is even sadder the second time around. <laughs> Grandma, how have you been feeling? Well, it's been a struggle, but I'm feeling better now that I've decided to take matters into my own hands and in my life myself. Oh. Mom! Oh, I'm sorry. Have I, did I tell you that news already, too? <laughs> no, you didn't tell us that news. Good, then that's the news I want to tell you. The only thing that made me sort of laugh in the first one, because you say it was about consent, and then the sort of... He's got that dim-witted brother, is it Bobby? Yeah, Bobby. And Bobby, Bobby thinks he's a raper, and I just yeah. like, when they keep saying raper, that was the only thing that yeah. made me laugh. If a guy had a drunk hookup with a girl last night, he doesn't remember verbally getting a yes, could that guy be a raper? Yes. What's wrong, Bobby? Mama might be a raper. <laughs> Sweet shepherd of Jesus. You a raper? Bobby, I didn't raise you to be no raper. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. The correct word is rapist. I don't know. It just was a bit damp for me. There wasn't... I, and I appreciate why you like it in terms of yeah, it dealing with but I feel maybe if it was a cable one and it was half an hour, oh, yeah, yeah, I agree. It, I didn't like him. I did. There wasn't. I. I. There wasn't that believability. I would agree. I think that the Bobby and the and the parents are the draw for me. Well, you've got. I mean, you've got Loretta Devine and David Alan Greer who are sort of yeah. seasoned. Sometimes just their delivery will make me smile or make me laugh. I think it's unusual to have an American sitcom that does. A, a, net, a network, comedy. a network sitcom, yeah, that yeah. does tackle issues. Because I think so, a lot of the a lot of the cable ones do. Yeah, but they're sort of known for it, whereas NBC yeah. isn't known for taking yeah, risks, what you mean. perhaps in quite the same way. So yeah. thank you for watching it. If That's you're right. into it and you want to find it out, it's on Wednesdays on NBC.